Hello, and welcome to my channel, Crochet and Copy. My name is Judy. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make this lovely even moss poncho. The poncho is constructed from one triangle piece sewn together. And when the poncho is finished, it is so beautiful and it flows so well. Here is the measurement of our poncho. So these are supplies you're going to be using to make our even moss poncho. I go over them with you. The yarn we use is the Baby Bee Sweet Delight. And the color is Baby Sage. It's 60% acrylic, 40% polymer. It's a light three and it's 377 yards. And with this yarn, we use three of them to complete our project. The hook we use is the USJ10. It's the 6.00 millimeter. And we need a yarn needle. And we need a scissors. And that's it for our supplies. So let's get started. Now to get our yarn attached to our hook, we use what's called a slip knot stitch. And this is the method I'm comfortable in using to do that. If you have a different method, go ahead and use it, okay? So I take the yarn, drape it over my two fingers, and let it fall to the back. I take my hook, put it between my two fingers, and I pull up that loop of yarn. And there you go, you have a little knot, and just tighten it against your hook. And that's how you do a slip knot stitch, and how we attach our yarn to our hook. So now what we need to do is we need to do 181 chain. And a chain is simply yarn over your hook, pull through, Yarn over your hook, pull through, yarn over your hook, pull through, yarn over your hook, and pull through. And that's it. That's how simple it is to do a chain. And keep in mind when you're doing it to keep your chain loose. Don't crochet tight with it, okay? You see when we start doing the next part why I say keep it loose too. And here you count them by going one, two, three, four. So, so far we did four chain. So you need 181 chain to so keep a track of where you're at. And when you finish that, I'll meet you there. Okay, so we did that. We did 181 chain. So now what we're going to do is we're going to turn it and we're going to work in the back of our chain. Okay, if you prefer working in the front, go ahead. But I like working in the back. I think it makes it look nicer that way. So for us to start off with, when it do a slip stitch in the second chain from our hook. So the first chain is right here and the second one is here, but we're going to use the back. Okay. That's why I told you to keep it loose. This helps us. All right. So now you're going to go into that chain and you're going to pull up a loop and you have that loop on your hook and you're going to pull straight across the other loop that we have. And that's a slip stitch. So that's our first stitch for Start in row one. So our next chain right here, what we're going to do is we're going to put a half double in that one. So a half double is yarn over your hook. And then you're going to go into that bar, remember in the back of the chain, and you pull up a loop. Now you have three loops on your hook, yarn over, and you're going to pull straight across three of them at the same time. And that's a half double crochet. So now this is the pattern that we're going to be using to complete row one. All right. So what you're going to do is the next chain, you're going to put a slip stitch there. And remember slip stitches, you go into that chain and you pull up a loop and you take that loop and you pull it straight across. There you go. And that's how simple it is to do a slip stitch. Now you do a half double in the next so half double is yarn over before you go into that chain you go into the back bar of that chain pull up a loop and you have three loops of yarn on your hook yarn over and you pull straight across all three of them at the same time and that's it and that's how simple it is to do our half double all right i'll show you a set one more time so you're going to do this so you get all the way to the end of your row, okay? And then when you finish that, I'll show you what to do next. But let me show you one more time. So the pattern is slip stitch. Pull straight across. 
and a half double. Half double go into that chain, pull up a loop, and then yarn over to complete it and pull straight across. That's it. So keep on working and I'll meet you there. So that's it. We made it to the end of the row. And by coming to the end of the row, the last chain, you needed to have your half double. Okay, make sure you have your half double because that's what the pattern we're using. We need to have our half double at the end. And that's for row one. And for the completion of row one, we have our 180 stitches. So make sure you have 180 stitches. Now to start row two, what you're going to do is you're going to turn your work and you're going to chain one. So that's to start row two. So now we're going to start row two and basically it's the same thing we did for row one. But I just want to show you where we put our hook and where our stitch will go. Because when you turn it towards you, you see like this and you want to go in here as being the first stitch. But when you do that, you pick up three strands of yarn and that's not where we want to go because that's not the half double. The half double is actually up here under these two strands. Okay, it's just the pattern when we do it, it makes it looks that way. All right, so for our first stitch, make sure you go under two strands here and there, not through it like this and pick up three strands. That's not what we need. Top right here. So for that first stitch, what we're going to do is we're going to slip stitch right there. Okay, so you know how to do the slip stitch. So just do one slip stitch right there. And then the next stitch is right here. It's a little tight because remember we've been doing the pattern of slip stitch half double. So it makes it tight right there. So if you want to, you could pull it open so you can see it. All right. And now we're going to do a half double in that stitch right there. So get your hook in there. You can open it. Use your fingers to open it up. Okay. And make sure you're going under just the two loops of the, from that stitch we did previously, okay? And then you know how to do the half double. Complete your half double. So now, like I said, it's similar to row one. It's just showing you where to put your stitches. So now the pattern again is just slip stitch half double slip stitch half double all right i'll show you again though so make sure you slip stitch the next stitch and the next stitch half double and that's it so keep a track of as you go along make sure you have your 180 when you get to the end of the row okay and when you get to the end of the row i'll show you because it kind of hide a little bit when you work with it and I'll show you where it is all right okay so we made it to the end to do for row two and we follow that pattern of we do the slip stitch and the half double so now I have one stitch more to do so that will be my half double I just did the slip stitch and it's right here you have to make sure you find it because it's there and because it would keep up the number of stitches we have because you need to have your 180 stitches for row two and the following rows okay the same we're not increasing or decreasing so you need your 180 stitches so right there so i open it so you can see it so now you just do your half double right there because we're always going to finish off with the half double and we start the row with a slip stitch so now to start row three you're going to turn your work and you're going to chain one and i'm not going to show you how to do the other row because it's exactly what we've been doing the slip stitch and the half double and we're going to do this till we get all the way up to row 69 and when you get to row 69 by just continuing adding rows make sure you keep a track of where you're at and when you get to row 69 i'll meet you there and show you what to do next so yeah, we made it up to all the way to row 69. We did awesome work so far. So now what we're going to do is we're going to work with new rows because we're going to start a new design. And of course I show you. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn our work and we're going to chain one 
and then we're going to start new rows okay so that chain we made it doesn't count as a stitch so our pattern calls now for us to do for the first three stitches we're going to put one single crochet and a single crochet is you go into that stitch you pull up a loop of yarn two loop of yarn on your hook yarn over and you're going to pull across two of them at the same time that's it and that's how you do a single crochet i'll show you again go into that stitch and you pull up a loop of yarn two loop of yarn on your hook yarn over and you're going to pull straight across and that's it one more time go into that stitch pull up a loop of yarn two loops of yarn on your hook yarn over pull straight across that's how you do a single crochet so now this is the pattern we're going to follow for row one what you're going to do is you're going to do five chain one two three four five now you're going to skip three stitches one two three and the following five stitches we're going to put one single crochet so make sure you skip your three one two three and then the following five stitches we're going to put one single crochet and this will be five so that's it okay i'll show you again chain your five one two three four five and then you skip three stitches one two three and the following five you're going to put one single crochet one two so that's it we did five single crochet and that's how we look so far so that's the pattern we're going to work with for row one and you're going to do that to get to the end of your row and you have nine stitches remaining and then i'll show you what to do next okay, so we made it up to do our last part for row one we have our nine stitches remaining so now what we're going to do is we're going to chain four one and four so now we're going to skip two stitch and the following three stitches we're going to put one single crochet and this will be three so we're going to chain four one two and this will be four skip two stitches one two and the last two stitches we have you're going to put one single crochet there all right and the last stitch is kind of always like hiding it's kind of hard to get there so just pry it open get, make sure you get under the two loops open it up see the two loops are there and then pull up your loop to complete it so that's it and that's for row one now to start row two go ahead and turn your work i already turned my work and next we're going to just chain one to start that row two and the first two stitches that we have right there we're going to put one single crochet right there now chain three one two three so now we're going to single around the chain space from the previous row there you go so we're going to chain three one two three so now those three stitches we have right there we're going to put one single crochet in each of them okay one two and three so now this is the pattern we're going to do for row two you're going to chain your three one two three you're going to single around or chain space you're going to chain three one two three so now the next stitch will be right here we're going to skip that and the following three right there we're going to put one single crochet so go ahead and do that And we're going to skip that last stitch we have right here and we're going to chain three one two three and then we're going to 
remember single around the chain space in the previous row one put one single crochet right there so now following the pattern we're going to chain our three one two three remember you skip that first stitch right there and then the following three you put one single crochet right there three and then you skip that stitch right there and you're going to chain your three one two three and then you go around the chain space so we did our single crochet around that chain space so keep our pattern going remember we do our chain three one two and this will be the last one three and remember you skip the first stitch and the following three you just put one single crochet and this is the pattern we're going to be working with all right so remember all it is is that skip that stitch right there you do your chain three and then you do a one single crochet around our chain space and then you chain another three and then you would skip that first stitch right there and then the following three you put one single crochet so keep that pattern going for row two and you're going to work with this pattern for row two till you have eight stitches remaining and when you have eight stitches remaining i'll show you what to do next okay okay so we made it up to where we have eight stitches to work with for row two and so you're aware of when you count it it would be like nine you're seeing because remember the pattern when we finish off we left we skip that stitch that's how our pattern end up so that's why i didn't count that and say nine stitches but i said eight okay so you're aware of it if you're wondering but i have nine stitches it's okay but it was in our pattern and that's why i didn't add it in there because that end off our pattern work so now we're going to go ahead and chain our three one two three and we're going to go single around the chain space one single crochet we're going to chain our three one two three and we're going to skip that stitch right there and the following two stitch right there we're just going to put one single crochet and that will complete row two and that's how we're looking so far i think it looks pretty nice and you see with this pattern that we're working with with this new sets of rows it's moving a lot faster than we did before okay so you're just aware of that you see how it is so for row three what you're going to do is you make sure you turn your work to start row three all right so i went ahead and turned my work because we're starting row three and remember to chain your one so in that first stitch right there we're going to put one single crochet and now we're going to chain three one two three so now we're going to skip the next stitch and we're going to put a single crochet right here at this first chain three space from the previous row now we're going to single crochet into that next stitch right there and we're going to single crochet in the next chain three space from the previous row and that's it so far so now we're going to chain three one two three and we're going to skip that first stitch right there and the second one we're going to put one single crochet and we're going to also skip that stitch and we're going to chain three one two so now this is the pattern we're going to follow for row three by doing that our first chain three here then we're going to go around and we're going to put our first single crochet then you're going to go into that single crochet from the previous row you put one single crochet right there and the next chain three space you're just going to put a single crochet around it and then you're going to chain your three one two three skip that first stitch in the middle stitch you're going to put one single crochet and then you skip that stitch 
and that's the pattern for row three. I'll show you one more time, okay? So you chain your three. This is to start the pattern. One, two, three. You go into the first set of chain three from the previous row. You put one single crochet there. You should say around. <laughs> and then a single crochet here, the next stitch. And then a single crochet right here in the following chain three space from the previous row and that will be our pattern okay so keep doing that and you keep working with that pattern till you have nine stitch remaining at the end and when you get there at the end i'll show you what to do next okay okay so we made it where nine stitches remain for row three the nine stitches is the chain the two chain three from the previous row so that's six and then single crochet in the middle seven and the two at the end makes nine okay because remember the pattern that we had you will skip that stitch all right so it's not ten but it seems like ten okay but it's nine all right now we chain our three one two and three and then we're going to single around this chain three space right there and then you're gonna single or put a single right here in this single crochet and then also put a single crochet around this chain three space from the previous row so now we're going to chain three one two and three and then we're going to skip the stitch right here and then the last stitch is right here we're going to put one single crochet and that's it for row three so go ahead and turn your work and i already did turn my work and you're going to chain this time five okay five okay and with this chain five it counts as a double crochet and a chain two okay you see why when we come back to it all right why I say that so that's why we do that chain five for this row to start row four so now we're going to single around the chain space right here and then these three stitches that we have here we're going to put one single crochet right there so that's one two and three and single around this next chain three space from the previous row so now this would be the pattern for row four you chain your five one two three four five and we skip that stitch right there and then you're going to single in this chain space because remember we skipped that stitch and then the following three stitches right there we're going to put one single crochet in each of them okay so that's one two three and now single around this chain space from the previous row so that's the pattern for row four so that's the pattern we're going to follow for row four and what I like about this pattern, when you learn, it's fairly quick and easy to do it. And what helped me, because you go ahead and you do your chain five. The next step would be you skip this stitch right here. And then you're going to put a single crochet here around this chain three space. And in the three single crochet, you put one single crochet. So by the time you get here, you put another single crochet, you would do, you had five single crochet for row four so it'd be one single crochet two three four five and that's what i like about this pattern because for row three we had three single crochet by the time we move on and we actually did our chain three so now we're doing the chain five and by the time we finish off we have another set of five but this time is the single crochet if you understand and that helps you but that's what helps me when i'm moving because it moves fast so 
make sure that you do your chain five skip that stitch single crochet single crochet single crochet single crochet single crochet chain your five and that's it so when you finish that and continue on and you have one stitch remaining i'll show you what to do next okay and that's for row four okay so we made it to the end of row four to do and we have that one stitch right here remaining because we follow the pattern and what we're going to do now is we're going to chain two one two and we're going to double crochet in that last stitch right there and double crochet is yarn over your hook and you go into that stitch it's almost similar to the half double crochet that we've been doing so you pull up a loop of yarn and then you have three loops of yarn on your hook yarn over and you're going to pull across the first two loops on your hook and then you have two loops remaining to complete that stitch yarn over one more time and then pull across all two of them at the same time and that's a double crochet and that's how we finish off row four okay we're going to start row five so you turn your work and then you're going to chain your one and of course i turned my work already <laughs> and that first stitch right there because remember we did the double crochet and that's how the double crochet looks so that's the first stitch right there we're going to single crochet in there all right so now we're going to chain three one two three we're going to skip that first stitch and the next three stitch we're just going to put one single crochet that's one two and three so now we're going to skip that stitch and we're going to chain three one two three and then this is our chain five from the previous row we're going to put one single crochet around it all right and that's how we're looking so far so this is the pattern for row five so you're going to chain three one two three skip that stitch and the following three stitches you're going to put one single crochet and you're going to skip that stitch and you're going to chain your three single around the chain space chain your three one two three so remember the pattern you start with your chain three and then you skip this stitch and then in the following three you put a single crochet in each of them you chain your three and then you single around the chain space from the previous row so keep on working with that pattern until you have five stitch remaining and when you get there i'll meet you there and then show you what to do next okay so we made it to where we have five stitches left one two three four five so what you're going to do is you're going to chain three one two three and you're going to skip that stitch and we're going to do a single crochet in each of the next three stitches so that's two one more and that's three you're going to chain three one two and three and remember when we did that chain five to start that row what we're going to do now is because we're going to skip that stitch right there and we're going to put a single crochet in the turning chain but we want to find the third chain so this would be one two three right there and we're going to put one single crochet right there so you go on the make sure you go under the two loops divide it up there you go so the two loops there and then just put one single crochet there and that's it and that's it for the completion of row five so to start row six turn your work and then you chain your one and i'll meet you there yeah so to start row six i already turned my work and i chain my one and that first stitch right there we're going to put one single crochet and then the chain space we're going to go and put one single crochet around it okay so now we're going to chain three one two three 
and we're going to skip that stitch and we're going to put a single crochet right here so we're going to chain three one two three and remember we skip that stitch and we're going to single around the chain space and single in that stitch right there and then we're also going to single around this chain space in the previous row and that will be the pattern for row six so now i'm going to tell you the pattern again I won't show you this time so you're going to chain your three you're going to skip that stitch single in this stitch skip that stitch you're going to chain your three one single crochet around this chain space a single crochet here and a single crochet here in this chain space and that will make up the pattern for row six so that's why i said i like to do the count so i know i'm on mark with it because you would do three single crochet before you move on if that helps you okay and you're going to work with that pattern till you have seven stitches remain and then i'll meet you there so now we made it to where we have seven stitches left for row six to do and the seven stitches we have so you know we have three stitches right here one two three and then the, the chain has three so that's six and then one stitch that ends the row right here make seven okay so now we're going to chain three one two three and we're going to skip that stitch and we're going to put a single crochet right here we're going to chain three one two three and we're going to skip that stitch and we're going to put a single crochet around the chain space and we're going to single in the final stitch right here and that's the completion of row six starting row seven i turn my work and chain in my one in the first two stitch right there we're going to put one single crochet in each of them so that's one and that's two and the chain space we're going to put one single crochet around it so now this is the pattern we're going to follow for row seven you're going to chain five one five and you're going to skip that stitch and you're going to put a single crochet around that chain space so now you're going to single in those three single crochet right there you're going to put one single crochet right? so that's one two and three and single around this chain space and that's the pattern for row seven so i'll tell you the pattern again the pattern consists of you chain your five you skip this stitch you single around this chain space and then you single 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 and single around this chain space so you keep on working till you have six more stitches remaining and when you have six stitches more remaining i'll meet you there so we made it up to row seven the end where we have six stitches remaining i figure you know what the six stitches are <laughs> by now so we're going to chain our five one two four five so we skip that stitch and we're going to single around our final chain space and the last two stitch that we have right here we're just going to put one single crochet in them one and two that's the completion of row seven so we're going to start row eight and i turn my work already and i'm going to chain my one so basically what we're doing here for row eight is what we did for row two but i just want to get you started on it okay so you see it's a little different here so for row eight the first two stitch right there we're going to put one single crochet in them one and two so now the pattern calls that we skip that stitch right there and we're going to chain three one two three and then you're going to single around the chain five space from the previous row 
So that's why I said it's like the same thing we did for row two. That's why I said I'm just going to get you started with it. I'm going to chain three. One, two, three. You skip that stitch. And the following three stitches, you're going to put one single crochet. It's two, and this will be our last one. And then the pattern end off that we skip that stitch. All right. So I won't show you the rest, but continue doing what we did for row two. Okay. So you would chain your three, and then you would single around the chain five space, chain your three, skip that stitch and then you put one two three single crochet into those stitches all right so keep on working with that pattern for row eight so now we worked our pattern like row two do we have those eight stitches remaining and we go ahead and we complete it like how we did row two so now by finishing that off like we did for row two that's a completion of row eight now we're going to start row nine. So I turn my work and I'm going to chain my one. So now in that first stitch right there, we're going to put one single crochet. And we're going to skip the next stitch. So now what we did for row three is what we're going to do here. All right. So I'm just getting you started so you can see and then you could complete it. All right. So what you do now is you're going to chain three, one two three and then you're going to single around the first chain three space and remember it was that we would the next step will be we single in here and then we single in the next chain space so that gives us a three up there or th three single crochet and then what you're going to do is remember you chain your three and then when you chain your three you skip the first stitch and then you single in this one and remember it's the pattern for row three all right so i just wanted to get you started on that so i'm not going to show you how to do the other rows because it's just repeat it's just the pattern and the design we're trying to get and that's how we do by repeating the rows okay so now we started row nine so continue repeating row nine by using row three so row 10 will be row 4 and you're going to go all the way up to row 13 and then when you get up to row 13 stop there and i'll show you what to do next yeah we did awesome work i think it looks pretty nice we did great we made it up to the end of row 13 yeah <laughs> so i'm going to show you how to fasten off because we're going to fasten off now you're just going to chain one pull up a little tail because we're going to weave it in. Let me grab my scissors. And I'm just going to cut it off. And all you do is just pull on it so it holds. And there it goes. All right. Nice and secure. And I'll show you how to tuck it in. But before we do that, what I want to do too is I want what's called to block it. Because I think the stitch is so beautiful but for it to show the beauty of it we're just gonna block it okay and in blocking the stitch um, use whatever method that you're comfortable in using i'll show you how i do mine and it's just what i have on hand i'm going to use okay so you're aware of that but they if you have another method you have a better idea great go right ahead and use it all right so before I block it, I do want to show you how to tuck in our tail. And how I'm going to do it is I'm going to turn it like I was going to do another row. And that's where I'm going to tuck it in. All right. And as you see, I already have my yarn needle attached. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through the middle of this stitch, the last stitch that we did. And then just find stitches as I go along to hide it in, okay? I just don't want to come out the other side. So I'm just going through hiding the stitches as I go. All right? And 
And then I'm going to grab my scissors and cut that little tail off. And if you have a longer tail and you want to weave it in some more, you go right ahead because I still could weave it in some more and just put it back in and then come back for, back this way again. All right. So go ahead and tuck in the other end. I won't show you how to do it because it's the same way. Just find little stitches as you go along to hide your little extra tail you have. What I'm going to use is my little knee pad. And you can see it in the camera angle. So I'm going to use it for this project. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and block it. What I did is I folded in half so it could fit on my little knee pad. And then I fold it again. Okay, so it's folded twice. And then it fits on my little knee pad i'm not going to show you how to i'm going to use a spray bottle to mist it to get it wet i'm not going to make it drench with water i'm just going to make sure it has enough water in it by spritzing it with a water bottle <laughs> i know you know how to use a water bottle so i'm not going to show you how to actually do that and all i'm going to do is just pin it after i'm finished and when i'm pinning it I look for the not the little where we did like end off with that chain five. I won't pull that part out. I'll leave that there, but I pulled the part that we have the like the chain three stitches and just use that to pull it, okay, as we go along. So that's all I'm gonna do. When I finish spritz it and put in the pins, I'll show you how it looks, okay? And also to keep in mind all I'm doing is I am only doing this part right here, the edging of our poncho that I'm blocking. I'm not blocking the whole poncho, okay? So you're aware of that. So the only part that's going to get wet is right here that I want the stitch to open up. So that's it. That's how I do it. And I'm going to let it sit overnight to air dry. I'm going to spritz it one more time, make sure it's nice and wet. Not soaking wet, but nice and wet. And that's it. I'm going to show you the next step after it finish dry overnight so now what you're going to do is you're going to make sure you fold your crochet piece in half because we're going to start sewing it up and we're going to sew on the right side and you get to choose what side you consider right side which side look better to you which side is nice and clean and we're going to sew up with the even moss side so now for us to sew up our poncho what we're going to do is it's like right in the center we're going to sew it Okay, because we need part to be left open for our neck area. Okay. And then for our sleeve area to be open. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put some little stitch marker where I'm going to sew up. So when you fold it in half, what you do is you make sure that it's as even as you can get it. And I put my little markers because... I'm going to try to get everything in the video shot as I go along. So from this will be our neck opening. So I'm going to leave this part unsewn. So I put my marker here. This will be where I stop sewing. And this right here is nine and a half inches. Okay. From our blue stitch marker to the pink stitch marker that's where i'm going to sew up and then the remaining part i'm going to leave unsewn because that will be our opening for our sleeve okay we're going to sew up eight inches so what i did is i cut off a piece of yarn about 30 to 35 inches and that's what we're going to use to sew up our poncho and of course as you see i already attached my yarn needle to my yarn now, because my yarn is not attached to my work, I'm going to show you how I attach it so we can start sewing, all right? So what I'm going to do is just put a little knot at the end. And then don't close it up, okay? I'll show you why. I'm going to go from inside. And of course, I'm starting from where the sleeves will be and then I'm working my way up to the neck part okay so 
just pull it through. And now you insert your hook through, hold on to that little knot. And see, it attaches. Yeah, we're connected. All right, so now we could start moving on. So now this is called a mattress stitch. I'm going to leave the stitch marker there for a minute, okay? I'm going to take it out. But now, since we're attached over there, I'm going to come back with my yarn needle to where the stitch marker is, and you go underneath those stitches, all right? So you're going to have two loops of yarn. You should have two loops of yarn on your little needle. And then you pull, because we're just going to go under, over, under, all right? A good way I heard somebody explain it is like when you're doing the lace on your shoe okay it's like lacing up your shoe all right so now you go back to the other side where we first attached to underneath the next stitch just pull it through i'm going slow so you can see what i'm doing okay and then come back over to the other side underneath the stitch Just pull. And as you go, just give it a little tug, not too tight for now, so that you see it's closing up. Now I take out my stitch marker. I'll show you a few more times. So we're attached on this side now. So we're going to go back over here. Okay. So make sure you find the next stitch in the end. And then you'll come back under, find the next stitch. You could take your time with it, no need to rush. So it, it looks nice and pretty as you go. Because remember, this is the right side of our work, all right? Back over, under. And then go back, find the other little stitch. And with this pattern, with the even moss, it gives you nice space and you can see the stitches as you go along to work with. So that's the good part about it. So just continue doing that. And when you get to the end where the other stitch marker is, I'll show you how I finish off, okay? Okay, so I made it to where I'm going to finish off now because I made it to my next stitch marker to help me remind me where I'm going to stop. So I'm just going to complete doing this last one right here. Back over. And I'm going to go right where the stitch marker is at. And then right where the stitch marker is on this side. So I'm taking it out. And then just give it a little tight, tight, so it's nice and secure. So far, that's how it looks. I think it looks pretty nice. Now, to hide my end that I have, I'm just going to go back inside. And I'm going to flip it inside and weave it inside, okay? So now that I'm inside, what I'm doing is just going to go through a couple of the stitches that we have here and just use them as a little area to tuck it in back and forth securing and then for this one when you feel comfortable i'm just going to make a little knot right at that end and i'm still going to hide the tail under different stitches as i go along because it's secure there already, but this is just extra measures that I'm doing. And then I'm going to grab my scissors and I'm going to cut it off. Okay. So this is how it looks when we use the mattress stitch to sew up what we need to sew up. Okay. That's it. We're finished making our poncho. I think the even moss stitch is beautiful. Makes our poncho looks really nice. 
but of course I also love the woven lattice stitch too makes the poncho look so pretty you did great work congratulations thank you for watching i hope you had fun making it as much fun as i had showing you how to make it thank you again for watching till next time bye bye